In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up DFM constraints. Step 1. Create a DFF constraint set. Go to Setup in the menu and select Constraints. Within the Constraints GUI, select Manufacturability. As you can see, this section is divided into three areas. Design for Fabrication, Design for Assembly, and Design for Test. Here, we will see how to implement Design for Fabrication constraints in your design. Design for Fabrication is divided into two areas, DFF Constraint Set and Design. Within the DFF Constraint Set, you'll create design rules, and within the design part, you'll implement those rules. Now expand DFF Constraint Set. This domain consists of the outline, mask, annular ring, copper features, copper spacing, and silkscreen constraints. Select Outline and click on New CSET. A Create DFF Outline CSET GUI will open. Enter the name of the CSET as DFF1 and click OK. Step 2. Defining CSET Parameters Once your CSET is created, the next step is understanding and defining its parameters. Outline checks the outermost edge of the pin, pad, trace, shape, and mounting holes with the edge of the design outline geometry or cutout. Now under Constraint Set Usage, expand Outline 2 and Cutout 2. Enter the required constraint values for Outline and Cutout. Similarly, you can create a design rule or constraint set for other objects. Step 3. Apply the rules that were defined above. Expand the Design section under Design for Fabrication and select Outline. In this worksheet, you can choose to apply design rules across the conductor, plane, mask, knot and stack up, and stack up. Within the conductor column, click under All and select DFF1 from the Reference DFF CSET section. All rows will be updated with the new CSET values. Applying these rules to specific layers is optional. You can expand the conductor and plane columns and apply constraints to the layers of your choice. Step 4. Analyze signals. Go to Analyze in the menu and select Analysis Mode. Within the GUI, select Outline under Design for Fabrication from the left side of the pane. Check the box that says On to enable all the constraints and click OK. Step 5. Real-time DRC update. Close the Constraint Manager and go back to the layout. Go to Check in the menu and select DRC update. Some new DFF DRCs will pop up. You can move symbols, pins, and vias to resolve these DRCs. Let's look at symbols R63 and C57. An outline to trace spacing violation occurred here. Select the Move command from the toolbar and move these symbols away from each other. The DRCs will disappear once you place the symbols a sufficient distance apart based on your constraints. By running Design for Manufacturing checks in real time while you design, you can finally break out of the find, fix, reiterate cycle so you can get your design done right the first time.